sucks. And he was like, The Offspring have that song. And I was like, no, no. The Offsprings is, the kids are alright. Okay. Nah, she's a professional memer. Yeah, yeah, Need for Speed. I mean, with bigger bands, you kind of, yeah. Like, you see so many Nirvana shirts and Beatles shirts at, at different shows. You know, the Nirvana shirt and nowadays is basically, you know, I know Smells Like Teen Spirit and In Bloom and Come As You Are and uh, Heart Shape Box. And uh, what is uh, Penny Royal T? What is, uh, you know, Bleach? Is that an album? Wait, is Bleach a song or an album? Floyd the Barber, that's, uh, that's from Andy Griffith, you know? Yeah. That's kind of the nirvana you're dealing with. Kids aren't alright? Yeah, that's why it confused me, yeah. Oh, that's right, they, they're playing on words there. Yeah. Well, the thing is, they were wearing their shirt at their show, so you have to assume that they know the songs. You have to assume they know the songs. So, I assumed the kid knew the songs, but I was wrong in that assumption, and, uh... He didn't know the band shirt he was wearing at the band show, the actual songs. Which you, you know, I mean, if you're going to be a dumbass, if you're going to be dumbass enough to wear a band shirt to their show, which, by the way, is the first rule of concerts, don't ever, ever wear the band shirt to their show. I expect somebody here to fucking fight me on that, but I don't give a fuck what you think, because you're wrong, okay? That's, that's not an opinion, that's not an opinion at all that's a fact you do not wear the band shirt you're seeing to their show don't do it don't ever do it don't be swayed to do it don't think it's okay it's not okay makes you look like a fanboy front runner fucking dick sucker you know whatever you want to say we know you're here for the band you're at the show you're here for the band obviously we don't need you know your band shirt to say oh i'm extra here for the band i'm a huge fan I'm a gigantic fan of Blink-182. I think Blink Floyd is kind of like one of those shirts, maybe. Uh, Led Zeppelin, the Led Zeppelin shirts. Mm. A girlfriend? This was a guy. This was a dude. This was the dude that was alone. He was alone, like, and we, like, kind of hung out. We kind of vibed... We kind of vibed during the songs. Like, he kind of just walked right up to me at one point, and, like, we just, like, vibed together. And then that afterwards kind of just ruined the moment. Like, it really ruined a, a decent bromance uh, moment. A bromantic moment, if you will. Because I was kind of just disgusted and wanted to leave and get away from him as soon as possible. And I did. Um, yeah, the Beatles. I don't know. The Beatles. I think Nirvana is the number one. For sure. Nirvana is like number one band shirt you would see at any show that the kids wouldn't know like what Nirvana songs were. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Now I have heard of this one concert rule apparently. It's rule number two. Don't wear the band shirt you bought at the show until two weeks after the show. I think that one's bullshit. That one's bullshit. You can wear it the day after. You can wear it the night of after the show if you want to. But uh, you can wear it the day after. I, I think that's a little bit harsh. I've heard this a few different places. That one's definitely harsh. Um, okay. I, I say we can be a little more lenient with the people wearing tour shirts of the band to their next show. We can be a little more lenient with that. The worst, though, is them wearing the tour shirt of the current tour to the show. That they literally bought at that show that night. Like, I hate that shit. That shit's fucked. But, like, if you have a tour shirt from fucking ten years ago, like, I mean, pull it out if you want, I guess. It still pisses me off, but, you know, I mean, do whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, this game sucks. This game's not good. After this race, we're gonna go to the next one because this game sucks. And then we're going to play Secret of Mana because that's actually a good game. By the way, I looked up the images for the Secret of Mana remake. It looks pretty cool. Um, I mean, it obviously doesn't interest me. I don't know how people can play a game and then play it again, like, right afterwards. Unless they absolutely love the game. Like, you know, like uh, Oblivion, I guess. You could do that. But, you know, Secret of Mana? Eh, no. Look, 
Yeah, I'm, I guess so. I'm, I, I don't think of it as that, that way, because, like, the band's probably moved on from that area of the country anyway. Probably. I mean, unless they're coming back around. Well, okay, say you have a Dallas tour day, and, like, a couple weeks later, it's, like, San Antonio, okay? Someone might be like, oh, they're, I forgot they were going to Dallas. Let me go to San Antonio. I mean, that's possible, but uh, I don't think it would really help ticket sales too much. Yeah, Led Zeppelin fans are... Yeah. I, I don't know. ACDC fans are the worst. Like, okay, you love a band that literally has three different kinds of songs. You, have, you love a band whose drummer can do three different drum beats. Slow... Fast and extra fast. Actually, no, my bad. Medium, fast, and extra fast. And then you have a guitarist that knows, like, two riffs. You have a singer that can only sing like he's fucking dying. You know? You have, like, two different kinds of songs. ACDC is literally Nickelback, only worse. They're, they're the most generic band ever. Every single song sounds the exact fucking same. I hate that band. I don't care what anyone says. ACDC sucks. That is a terrible band. If you like any AC... Okay, the only one that I can tolerate, the only song by them I can tolerate is Hell's Bells. That's literally the only one. Ever, you Shook Me All Night Long, that song blows ass. TNT, that song blows ass. Um, What else is there? Uh, there's other songs by them. I've heard, of, I've heard quite a few. I had ACDC Rock Band, so I, I know. I do know. I've listened to enough of their music. It's all garbage. It sucks. It's Pearl Jam? I get it. It's because of his voice. I, 